Today we are talking all about a brown smoky eye. When people think smoky eyes, they think it's got to be a mega statement, it's got to be charcoal black or a bright colour, but actually a brown smoky eye is the most lovely way to define eyes without overpowering the face. Where to start with a brown smoky eye? Now, if you've got very oily lids, Make sure you've got no moisturizer on your eyelids, make sure there's nothing too greasy, and start with an eyeshadow primer. If you are looking for a very good eyeshadow primer, Urban Decay do a great one. I've actually got quite dry lids, so I'm not gonna put it on. I am gonna just move straight on to the product that is gonna give me the brown smoky eye, and that is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Constructivist. You can see I've used it because I really love it. Now they've got a few different shades of brown. Find the one that suits you best, First step is using a nice fluffy brush. This is the Spectrum C06 brush, and you are just gonna swirl it in the product without worrying too much about precision. Just get it on to the eyelid. There you go, you can see it's quite messy, but it is on. And then, using another fluffy brush, slightly longer, you just want to blend. Blend, blend, blend. If you do at any point think you put too much product on, use a clean brush to just get a little bit of the product off the eye. Now a really important tip to remember is that you don't want too much product on the inner corners. If you put too much here, it's gonna make your eyes look too close together. So actually, you want more product in the outer corners and then maybe take a slightly lighter shade for the inner corners, because that way it's gonna open your face and not look too heavy in the center. Let's go under now. Taking a smaller brush, I'm just gonna tap product because you don't want very much, you are just going to skim the lash line. Just really lightly keep going and build it up until you've got the look you want. And just if you have a look at the shape, I've just followed the natural shape of my eye. You want to make sure it's always connected, the underneath and the top, that it just feels like one lovely diffused smoky eye. Okay, so that is just using one product. I would happily leave it there and just pop on some mascara. But for the purpose of today, I'm gonna add a little bit of glam uh, with a metallic shade. So this is the Tarte, Tartist Pro eyeshadow palette. There is a lovely shade in it called Ethereal. And just in the very center of the lids, I am gonna pop that on. Done. It can really, really brighten and make your eyes pop without looking too over the top. Quick recap how we did it. Get it onto the lid, and then using another brush, you are just blending it on. I mean, how easy is that? I am just popping it on. Now to take it up another step, let's add in some brown eyeliner. So this is the L'Oreal Waterproof Infallible Brown Liner. I also really love this liner because it really just goes on so easily. There you go. With it like this, once I put my mascara on, it would be something that I would happily do at my desk to go from day to night. Love this mascara. It's the Max Factor Volume Infusion. It's brown black, but to be honest, it looks the same as a black one would, in my opinion. You've got to do repeated layers to really, really get the look you want. For the bottom lashes, instead of putting it back in the tube, you want to just move straight on and use whatever is left on the wand, and that way it's not too heavy. Your smoky eye is not really done until you have put your concealer on. This is the Huda Beauty. It's called the Overachiever Concealer. See what they did there? It's got a lovely metal tip, which is cooling, and just gonna squeeze the product. There you go, and just Get it on. I think I went a little bit overkill there, but hey, nothing matters because you can just take a little bit on that side and get it on to that side. You don't want to let it touch the smoky eye, so just going around it. Just going to go back in with my eyeshadow brush and check that everything is still blended. The same goes for underneath, especially as we've just put on eye dry concealer. You then want to give it another good blend. And now the other eye. And make sure this one's blended. Right, a brown smoky eye, there you go. Hopefully that will show you that smoky eyes do not have to be that complicated. Mm -hmm.